You know, I, I don't want to demean you, but you know, you didn't, you know, when I was looking at this, you know the word that comes to my mind when I see this? What? It's precisionism. Yeah. Oh yeah, that right, <laughs> comes right off the tip of your tongue, yeah. doesn't it? Precisionism. Now, not many people are aware of that. Have you heard that word before, precisionism? Yeah. What does it mean? Precisionism really has to do with uh, uh, sort of industrial uh, uh, painting usually, not necessarily photographs, but, but uh, it's, it's very, uh, it's usually machines and, uh -huh. and sort of... Uh, Certain kind of precise machines. Yeah, the kind of machine. the kind of machines like when you're making paper, yeah. when it's no, going but, when but it's it, going through there, it has to go usually, through a tolerance of a I don't know 130 it's seconds. Sort of like realism on steroids. You know, it's realism very, on steroids. It's very detailed, but usually industrial scenes. Of, uh, it can be of cityscapes of, or you know of buildings. So what sort of camera would they use if they're doing precisionism work? Well, I think I think she just used 35 millimeter. 35 millimeter to come up with work as fine as that. Now, when, when would you say this one was actually made? Probably 30, another day, 30 to 35. Well, they wouldn't have used a 35 millimeter camera back then, would they have? have? They wouldn't have used a real camera. They wouldn't have used at least uh, an, uh, like a 11 by 14 Linhoff. They would use a 35 millimeter camera and I'm expect sure. to get that quality. I'm not sure. You might be right. I'm not sure what she used, but I think, yeah. Okay. Well, you might be right. It might not 